Hey guys, it's uh, Tuesday the 15th. We're up here at Lopstick. Yeah, so we're heading out today. Uh, gonna be doing some drifts. Uh, I believe Paul's gonna be out waiting today. Chuck's gonna be off doing, you know, we'll do whatever the guest wants to do. So we kind of mix it up a little bit. Uh, fishing's been here and there kind of spotty a little bit. Uh, tons of dry flies though. We've been fishing there. There's been some all the flies coming off on the Andro. Fishing some foamy bugs on the, uh, on the Connecticut. Uh, also doing some blue wing olives, parachute type of stuff on the floats on the Connecticut. The wades have been really good, catching some nicer fish there. Uh, ponds have been really hot, uh, been up to some of the remote ponds. Some beautiful brookies up there. Uh, they've uh, seems like they've done a really good job in managing a boundary pond recently. Uh, some beautiful fish coming out of Coombe Brook and also out of Round Pond. I even heard some good reports uh, a few days ago about still some fish in Moose Pond too. So that's pretty cool. Yeah. So, and we've had, uh, this morning it's 59 degrees or something like that. I think my truck said when I was coming to work, uh, hopefully we're going to have a little bit of rain. Uh, we've had some overcast weather the past couple of days and threatening rain, but, uh, no real, uh, nothing that's been substantial. So hopefully we're going to get that weather in. And that will be awesome because, uh, you know, we certainly need it. You know, everything right now is basically at summertime levels. Uh, the floats have been lower than, I'm not going to say, yeah, lower than probably I've pretty much ever seen unless something drastic happened. Uh, and there's stories behind that. Uh, so if you, we ever talk face to face and then not like video type, uh, I'll tell you the stories. So, all right. So, yeah, so the, the flows are low. Uh, the fish are out. The water temperatures are still fairly decent. Uh, water temperatures are starting to get up a little bit on the um, on the andro, but that's what generally triggers the alder fly. So that's you know that's standard. And then uh, you know the small streams are are actually uh, holding their temperatures pretty well, especially if you get up into the northern parts of them. So uh, definitely be considerate of that. If you do go to water temps and the water temps are seventies and uh up up high like that you know let's let's take it easy on the fish you know don't don't do that uh there's other places around that we can fish where the water is going to be colder uh bass fishing has been great uh pike's been on and off it's typical pike type of stuff you gotta right now especially with the again low waters uh and then uh, you just gotta watch out for the moon phases so got a shop full of everything uh just got a ton of strike indicators in from airlock uh we've got a billion flies in there uh, lots of rods we just got one of the uh, glass super fines uh you know it's well sought after rod so anything you all need just let us know we'll take care of you looking forward to seeing you all up here soon uh let's keep our minds open and we'll just kind of explore a lot more let's uh kind of think outside of the box all right we'll take care of you